We welcome you to meet the great man of God, Mr. Ranjit Adanki Ofer. The God who created the world can change the world for you. Our God whom we serve is able to deliver us. For 32 years, Ranjit Ofer has been defending and spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ relentlessly in many parts of India. A true evangelist who is responsible for planting more than 600 churches and raising 400 pastors, where 90% of his church members come from non-Christian backgrounds. Though he himself cherishes to be called as a man of God due to the nature of his work and life, he is recognized as an apostle of God and a modern-day Paul. Upon the direct command from the Lord and inspired by the Holy Spirit, he authored several books including God the Unfolding Mystery. As a meticulous researcher, he follows a truly biblical Pauline method of presenting apologetics to convey the truth which never hurts the sentiments of other religions. Mr. Ranjit Ophir is a gifted singer and a poet, has written many inspiring songs. <laughs> Born in India in 1959 at Warangal, a district in Andhra Pradesh, Mr. Ranjit is an answer to 20 years of prayers by his pious parents, Mr. Swami Das, a senior school teacher by profession, and Mrs. Saujata, a school teacher. In 1965, at the tender age of six, his mother led him to Christ and he accepted Jesus as his personal savior. In 1969, at the age of 10, he experienced the mighty anointing of the Holy Spirit. From then on, he walked with God in total submission and at the age of 21, there was a clear call from God and was commissioned for full-time ministry. Boldly defending the truth of God in the face of opposition, he started his ministry in 1980 at a village called Nakrekal in Nalgonda district. Served there for four years, he moved to Hyderabad in 1984 and continued God's work from Kukatpalli Housing Board Colony reaching out to all parts of Andhra Pradesh and spreading to other states like Himachal Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, West Bengal, Odisha, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Apostle Ranjit Adanki Ofer does not just preach the gospel, but displays his love for Christ in action through Snehasila Charitable Trust, founded in 2009, by providing medical help to those suffering with cancer and AIDS, helping the families affected by natural calamities, distributing clothes and food to the poor and needy, as Jesus Christ said, in Matthew 25 40 whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine you did for me he brings in the homeless through Divya Prema Sadhanam an orphanage which was started in 2008 in obedience to Psalms 68.5, which says, 
I am the father of fatherless. Fights courageously like Moses and Aaron for the legal rights of the suffering Indian Christians through Rashtriya Krastava Parishad, formed in 2003. In his journey of faith, he has crossed many byways, subways and highways. But he still strives hard to reach only one way, the way to the cross. Like Enoch, the seventh one in line from Adam, who preached courageously, Apostle Ranjit Adanki Ophir preaches the gospel to the neglected tribes of India through Agape Banjara Mission, formed in 2010, and now active in Anantapur, Karnul, and Badak districts. <laughs> Through Agape Child Evangelism started in 1996, he encourages the little ones in rural and urban areas, including the slums, to accept Christ as their personal saviour at an early age. As Jesus Christ said to his disciples in Matthew 19.14, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. He has initiated to spread the good news of gospel through Agape TV Club from 2009 through Subhavartha TV channel every Thursday 10.30 p.m. and Friday morning 9 to 9.30. He is also planning to spread the good news through commercial channels. Request each of you to encourage with a round of applause to such an extraordinary man of God.